welcome to week nine of the College Success Course, Coach D, and today's topic is work. Hopefully the last nine weeks you've been able to scoop up all these wonderful tools, useful tools, life-changing tools, and I am going to wrap them up in this with this beautiful bow of work on top. Okay, everything that we do, everyone in this world is gonna have to work to get to where you wanna go. Okay, the, one of the keys with work is choosing something you love, loving what you do, and doing what you love or working to get to that point. All right, you guys are getting ready to go to college or in college, some of you are college athletes, some of you are not, and I will tell you something, it's not just talent, it's not just being smart that's gonna get you places in this world. It's gonna take work. You gotta put the work behind that talent, behind those gifts, behind that privilege, behind that honor, and you've gotta push that along with work. Establishing a good work ethic is priceless, and I'll tell you why. Not just because of the results you're gonna get, but because of the results that you can't go buy anywhere else. Doing things that take work, starting something and finishing it, and working hard to finish or accomplish it, build something in us that we can't buy and that's self-worth that's confidence that's that core something within our being that nobody can ever take from you understanding work and building that into our routine into that foundation and it become it should become a fundamental for you and something special about fundamentals is always being able to go back and and look at it again relearn it again look at it through a, a wiser lens back to the beginning of why did I do this? Why is work important to me? I was, you know, a hard worker here. I need to apply that here. Life is like this amazing little personal love story that you're writing along the way. And I can tell you now, work is going to be a part of every step of this process if you want to be successful. That's why 1% better a day is where am I going to be 1% better? I always try to put it into my work because the work is what's going to push the work is the horsepower behind whatever it is i need to move forward okay sometimes the the work is going to happen internally okay that might be i might be working on my vulnerability that day so that i can be more vulnerable to a process or to trying something new or to taking a risk or to going out and being willing to to fail in front of my colleagues my friends my team whatever it may be it's going to take work so all these different kinds of work, you can find them in all the tools that we've given you. You can put each one of these tools to work. Okay, one, another thing I wanted to point out is a lot of people sit back when they think of work and they use the word try. They're like, I'm gonna try this or I'm gonna try that. I like to replace the word try with do. Okay, so not only are we just trying something, but we're gonna do it. Okay, doing is so much more important than just trying because doing is actually gonna get us from point A to point B. And it takes work to do. It takes the intention and then aligning that action right behind that intention and then moving it forward, working through the process. I love process, okay? I love watching people and their process. I love looking, learning from their process. And yes, looking at their process, but I love learning from their process a really great story and something I want to share with you about hard work and not just hard work but quality work working smarter not harder to get to where you want to go or to get the result that you want to get so I had this athlete who came to me he was teeter-tottering um, with AAA and and the major league team and such an incredible beautiful work ethic such a humble human being if you met him, you would say, this guy has all the ingredients to be on the major league team. What's the problem? This is a pitcher. He was throwing 97 miles an hour. And you're thinking, if he can't do it, you would have looked at this guy and thought, no way. Who, who can? Okay. So what I learned about him, though, is that he was in his own way. He was doing the work, but he wasn't doing the right work for what he needed to do. He wasn't necessarily working smarter, not harder. He was being misguided by other people's expectations of himself. And he had forgotten and never really uh, declared or made aware to himself his own standards. It's really important to know who you are. And we only know who we are when we fall down and get back up. 
Okay, it's not how we fall in life. It's how we get up that defines us, right? But it takes work even right there to get up. It takes vulnerability to go, okay, that's failure. I don't wanna make friends with it, but I must learn from it. Okay, so replace try with do. Because until we really do something, we don't really know who we are or what we're made of. When I know what I'm made of, and I understand completely my work ethic, I can tell you now it's easy for me to size things up, whether it's a project, so in class, a paper, homework, whatever, or whether it's my competition. And I know who I am. I know what I can do. And I don't really care what that competition can do because no matter what, I will outwork them. And it's not like, oh, I'm gonna outwork them and just go break myself. I know how to work smarter, not harder from working all the wrong ways before and breaking myself. Okay, so there's so many different tremendous layers of work and work ethic, but one of the most beautiful gifts work will ever show you is that it'll show you yourself. It'll show you who you are and what you're made of. And as somebody climbing the ladder in life, as somebody aiming for success, as somebody setting high goals, and high achievements and wanting to go big places, you're gonna have to know these things. And you're gonna have to along the way fall down, get back up, work to get back up, develop your process. Every step, there will be work involved. Okay, it takes work in a relationship, personal relationships. It takes effort and work to go communicate with my professor or my coach. There's work everywhere we look. So the sooner you can accept that and understand it and understand the why, and then go, oh my gosh, I really love this process. It's not just about winning the trophy, winning the championship, getting my grade. Take a look at the process. Take a look at the steps you've taken and be proud of them once you get there. Appreciate the process. Appreciate the hard work involved. It took you to get to where you're going. And look at where you are right this very moment and know that you're sitting here with me at this moment because you worked hard to get here. Your parents worked hard to provide this course for you if you didn't provide it for yourself. Appreciate hard work, appreciate quality work, and appreciate every breath you take, okay? So there's so many awesome layers to work. Instead of looking at work and going, oh my gosh, I hate working for this or that, I gotta go to work, think about right in this moment you have so many beautiful choices to choose the work you're going to do to decide i'm going to love this work i'm going to love the work i do and do the work i love because those things are two of the beautiful most things that go hand in hand together that will make your life so much more quality and also hard work shows us who we are and that's a very special thing so when you hear work don't be scared embrace it run towards it and never stop working hard, especially for yourself. In this exercise, we'll reflect on the quality of work that Danielle Martin talked about. We'll also think about how much work we do when no one is watching. John Wooden said, the mark of a man's character is what he does, his work, when no one is watching. Coach Martin said, your work reveals who you are. In your performance journal, think about how much work you do while no one's watching. Put it in a percentage. You're up 16 hours a day or more, maybe less. How much of the work, big and small, that you execute daily is done without any eyes on you? Write that percentage now and then reflect on these two thoughts. First, what John Wooden said that the quality of the person is measured by what he does when no one's watching him. What does that mean? Write a few short sentences on what Coach Wooden is referring to. Then, think about what Danielle said and answer this question. Why does work reveal who you are? Write the first thing that comes to your mind, two to three lines, and let's move on to our next section. It's time to talk about the compounding effects of small choices, small bits of work.